Welcome to Cooking with Kim. Today I'm going to be cooking. Yes, cooking. Yes, I'm a 20 year old. I should know how to cook basic meals, but I don't, okay? Breakfast is my forte. Yes, I can cook eggs, bacon, sausage. Egg, bacon, cheese, sausage. But when it comes to supper, it's like... So this is the first episode of Cooking with Kim. So today, I'm making rice and beef stew and coleslaw salad. Yes, coleslaw, coleslaw salad. Let's just see how it goes, right? I hope you enjoyed today's video and there's gonna be many more cooking with Kim's. Fun fact about me, I love food. Like, I love food, guys. So I want to cook properly again. I mean, I'm actually embarrassing myself right now, saying that I don't know how to cook certain things yet, but I mean, it's that Kim Zoa. It's the life journey. We're learning. We're growing. We're moving. See, I've already placed the beef to boil. So, just have to let it boil. So, right now, while the beef is sitting pretty and boiling, I'm going to be making coleslaw salad. What you need is carrots, cabbage, mayonnaise. Let me just search it. So I'm gonna search like what ingredients go into coleslaw salad because I know obviously cabbage, carrots, mayo, but we want to make it, we want to add a little bit of flavor. How to make coleslaw salad. Guys, that's bad. Like when you're searching how to make coleslaw salad, you, you know that's bad. That's bad. It has carrots and cabbage, literally. One large bit of cabbage. Carrots. Mayo. Honey. Lemon. Vinegar. Celery seed. Ground mustard. So this one just has a lot of extra stuff that I'm just like. Especially cabbage and carrots. Ooh, that's cool. I can make pepper. So what do you make? What are you eating? What are you making? Rice. Nice. So I'm gonna start by peeling the carrots. I'm 
come and be nice. Oh, it smells nice. As you see, my aunt is here. Somehow, <laughs> because I was just doing a lot of messing up. How can I not cook? That's so bad. So the beef is done boiling. So I just took, we just, you just drain the water. Now adding oil. the rice now yeah you have to rinse it so that the dust is removed and everything I'm acting like I know everything let's see if it tastes nice yo and the beef yo 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 ah this is definitely burning definitely I'm just so like ah! I hate this I hate this Fun, but not fun. out the last bit of water. Water. You put the rice, the clean rice, you put it in the pot. I think it's already on. Like, so, last time y'all saw me cooking rice in my weekend in my life. A little bit, then we let it boil big time. Okay, so now I'm gonna cut onion for the beef stew. Okay, the whole onion. That long struggle, the food is finally done. Here's the rice. Here's the beans. Here is the beef stew. It smells nice. Oh, ooh, it smells so nice. I wish you guys could smell that. And here is the salad with pepper. Because <laughs> you know I added some good old pepper in there. Mm. 
So I'm putting <laughs> so I'm putting water in the rice. I'm adding water into the rice because it, it's not cooked. <laughs> Yo, right? And it didn't taste like margarine. No, normally I don't eat like other cakes. I just take out the chicken. Come on, you don't have something. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, everyone. So I forgot to close out the video of me cooking, and I literally forgot to film myself tasting the food, which is like the most important part. Just a quick update: the food. <laughs> The food tasted fine. I just think the beef had a bit too much oil and spice because like I literally kept adding spice and I was like, mm, it's not spicy enough. And I tasted it, mm, it's not spicy enough. Mm. And it was a bit too spicy. Coastal salad was good, you know, the pepper was a was a good move, and the rice was nice and fluffy. So yeah, but next time I'm gonna do a taste test. I'm gonna get my like siblings reaction and parents if i can get their reaction and i don't know like i'm not gonna underestimate cooking she helped me so much i love her it was very 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 hard work so definitely not underestimating people and yeah just thank you so much for watching this video this crazy fun cooking with kim and stay tuned for more because there's going to be a lot more i have to be a pro at cooking i have to be so good great spices know everything and do it by myself it took me three hours to film this video it took me a very long time so next time we're gonna hopefully be a bit quicker and yeah so thanks bye guys olive juice <laughs>